So when did you ask her? Day before I left. Day the picture was taken. Is there any more recent? Nope. She hasn't sent you anything current? That's it. <laughs> Two years is a long time. She could have put on a couple hundred pounds for all you know. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe she's got yellow toenails. On the mineral Kool-Aid? He's studying. No, he's not. Gingivitis. Yeah, I don't even want to know what that is. Gum disease. Makes your teeth fall out. Told Wouldn't you. matter if her teeth did fall out. Oh, brethren. Man looketh upon the outward appearance, but God looketh upon the heart. So, when's Dr. McDonald going to bring his suit? He's not. He's going to bronze it. <laughs> huh. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Well, I'm going to pull into the driveway, and Allie will be standing there waiting for me on the porch. Setting sun bouncing off her cheeks, a gentle breeze dancing in her hair, and I'll take her soft, delicate hands in mine, and gaze into her beautiful brown eyes. And then I'll just lean into her, just far enough so that my face is buried in her hair. And then I'll kiss her sweet, tender lips. So tell me, to what do you attribute your success, Alder McDonald? I guess I'd have to say efficiency. Efficiency? Yeah. If, if they weren't qualified, I didn't teach them. I mean, I knew if I was going to reach my goals, I couldn't waste my time teaching unqualified prospects. Well, that would explain it. When was the last time you heard from your mother? Two months now. Mm -hmm. Your bishop mentioned that she's not a member of the church. No. No. Uh, that's my first goal when I get home, baptizing my mom. Oh, I hope she's qualified. What about your father? He died when I was two. I'm sorry. You know, he was a great guy. He left me a trust fund for college and everything. The good news is the bishop has found your mother. Apparently, she moved out of the ward boundaries. He passed on your flight information, and she's going to meet you at the airport to pick you up. That is good news. Sort of. I'm still at the airport. <laughs> Is your mom there? No, she's not here yet. Oh, you know, I told you we should have taken the night off. No, 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 don't worry about it. Well, you know, let me see if I can, you know, leave early. I'll just come pick you up. I'll just, I'll just catch a cab. Do you have directions? Yeah, I got it. I can't wait to see you. Me too. I'm hanging up now, okay? So I can get home, get released and get the kiss I've been dreaming about for two years. Allie. Okay, okay. Just, um, you know, call me when you get to the house and, uh, I get off at nine. So, you're a missionary. Yep. I've always wondered what compels so many young men to throw away two years of their life pushing their religion on total strangers. How long you been driving a cab? 23 years. So what compels a man to spend 23 years of his life stuck in traffic? I've got my reasons. I got mine.
want to be here. I do wish to be here. It's just that I wanted a chance to teach my mom about the gospel. You have 60 days, and greater things are planned for thee. How are you feeling? I had a, had a dream. How long have I been here? Three days. But don't worry, you've got plenty of time to get better. I'm gonna take care of everything. The wedding. The most important thing is that you get better. The doctor said it was a miracle that you were alive. You weren't when they found you. Uh, my mom. She's taking it pretty hard. At this pace, he should be able to go home within a week. Will there be any ill effects? He'll be fine. We'll just want to keep an eye on him for the first couple of months. Doctor, you're needed in 206. Call me if you have any questions or concerns. Trish, he's awake. Okay. If I'd been on time, none of this would have happened. Maybe you would have been killed instead of the cabbie. Who told you the cabbie died? They're here. Oh, send them in. Okay. President Stratton. Elder McDonald. You're certainly looking better than the last time I saw you. President Stratton and I gave you a blessing the night of the accident. Bishop Gates here tells me it's time for you to get released and go home. Yes, sir. I can't wait to show you the house. I'm sure it's perfect. And you know what? <laughs> it's only 700 a month. I got a one-year lease with an option to buy. I figured we could live off my income and then just pay rent and tuition out of your trust. You did great. Allie. Yeah. Do me a favor. <laughs> Just stand here and look at me. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's a no, out here. Come on. No one's going inside. What are you doing? Oh, you're back. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Welcome back. Welcome on in. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? How are you? 
I was watching you. I was watching you back. Who are all these people? <laughs> I don't know. I thought you invited them. Where's Corbin? Um, actually, bro, I just I didn't think he'd be comfortable here. You didn't invite him? Uh, you know, you haven't seen him in a long time. And he's, you know, trust me. It's probably better this way. What, are you trying to scare everybody? It's not like I did it on purpose, man. Did you see the picture? I was freaking, man. What picture? The one I cut out of the paper. I gave it to Allie. When I read your name, I couldn't believe it. You gave it to Allie? When? At the hospital, the day after the accident. You were at the hospital? Yeah. But you ignored me like usual. Dude, I was unconscious. You are such a liar. I could see you breathing. Dude, you still breathe when you're unconscious. Bye. Later. Bye. Hi, this is Trish. I'm not able to come to the phone right now. Leave a message. have been answered. Oh, thank you. Barb's in the back. She would be so happy to see you. Don't you go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. You look great. Oh, thanks. How was Las Vegas? I highly recommend it. I bet you really had your work cut out for you with all that misbehaving going on. <laughs> there are a lot of good people there. That's what they say. So, how's your mom doing? Uh, well, I thought I'd come down and surprise her with these. Is she here? They laid her off. They put in a new drugstore down the street, and things just slowed down. Mr. Jensen had to let her go. So where does she work now? Self-righteous scum Looking out for number one 
Thanks for cooking, baby. <laughs> about the proposed budget I put together? Yeah? Yeah, you want to hear it? Sure. Okay, actually, I have two budgets. And which one we use will depend entirely on how soon we want to start a family. <laughs> I should probably wait on that, don't you think? You haven't even heard the options yet. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> with my insurance at work, I figure we need to keep medical expenses to a minimum. And the first thing I did was start to work out a monthly budget. And I'm really trying hard to figure out how I can realistically start saving money, and it's just... I, only... I wish I could spend every second of every minute of every hour I have with you. That's a very romantic thing to say. Practical. Oh, no, come on, we've got a lot of things to do. Have you taken care of registration yet? I was going to do that tomorrow. Okay, remember you've got to go to school and get smart so you can keep up with me. Did you see your mom today? Yeah, I did. How's she doing? She's doing all right. I went down to the shop and saw Barb and Claire, too. Is she coming to the wedding? Why wouldn't she? Baby, she didn't RSVP. She'll be there. What about Corbin? What about him? Did you see him today? No, I was supposed to call him. When was the last time you talked to him about the wedding? I don't know. Why? Well, just don't say anything, okay? Maybe he'll forget about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's my best friend. Oh, well, I know he's your best friend, but... I just don't want him ruining the wedding pictures. He'll be wearing a tux. It's not the tux that I'm worried about. Look, just promise me you won't say anything to him about the wedding until after you see him. Why don't you just tell me what the problem because. is? Because! Ro, just go see him. Hey, you looking for somebody? Corbin? <laughs> Dude, what is up? <laughs> what happened to you, dude? Oh, I like that. <laughs> look at you. Oh, look at you, man. Ouch. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. So you know how we always used to sing together? I started the band. Is that why you didn't go on a mission? No. So... So what? Why didn't you go? Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. We had a plan. No, you had a plan for both of us. I'm really happy you're doing what you want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. 
looking like a freak and singing in a band. <sighs> it's good to see you haven't changed. Wish I could say the same. Ro, you always wanted to fit in. I didn't. I don't want to be like everyone else. I don't want to look like everyone else. I just want to be who I am. That doesn't make me the devil. No, you just look like him. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't meant to be funny, dude. Back in five. Well, it was. Look, I gotta get back to work. I'll call you later. I want to hear all about your mission. I bet it was awesome. Chocolate shake in town. No, best BLT. You ever had one? I like the burgers. You're missing out. So, how are you? I'm fine. How's Allie? She's good. The house? It's great. Sorry, I haven't been over to see it yet. Hey, why is that? What? Why haven't you been over? Oh, I've just been really busy, you know, working things. So, how are things at the drugstore? Funny you should ask that. Why? I don't actually work at the drugstore anymore. For how long? Wait, 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 let me guess. About two and a half months now? Because that's when you stopped writing. Rome. I don't see what the big deal is. You couldn't tell me you changed jobs? I'm sorry. I just didn't want to worry you. Okay, so you disappear. Your line's disconnected. Nobody knows where you are. You thought that would comfort me? I'm sorry. I should have told you. I lost your address when I moved. I mean, I thought you just felt guilty because you moved in with somebody. You sure don't waste any time. You gonna marry this guy? Don't you try to make me feel guilty. You didn't answer my question. I got laid off. I was about to be evicted. <laughs> I couldn't make stop, my... Stop, okay? I mean, you've always got a story. You don't know how hard it was. I was alone. Well, whose fault is that? I mean, every time someone tries to get close to you, you run them off. Look, it doesn't matter anyway, okay? That's in the past. You can quit your job and come and live with me. Really? So what does Allie have to say about all this? It's none of Allie's concern. What? Listen to you. What's happened to you? But I grew up. I hadn't noticed. Besides, I can't just go find a job that's going to pay me what I make tend and bar. You're a bartender? There's something wrong with that? Okay, just forget it. You're not gonna have to worry about money. I will take care of that. And there are other jobs, you just have to find them. I happen to like my job. And I resent you telling me how to live my life. I never lectured you on how to live yours. You never had to. Why do I always get the feeling it's more about you than it is about me? That is not true. You know... Your church friends will never find out what an evil person I am. I'll keep it a secret. And I'm sure you will. Ooh, I bought the cake today. You should see it. It's beautiful. Is it chocolate? No, but I ordered a different filling for each layer, and the top is Bavarian cream. Oh, I love Bavarian cream. <laughs> I know, but she can't have any. You bought a cake we can't eat? No, just the top. We're going to save it and freeze it and have it on our first anniversary. What if I'm not here for our first anniversary? <laughs> 
sorry, sweetie, but once you say yes, you're stuck with me. No, no, no. I mean, what, what if something were to happen, only this time I don't survive? <sighs> Why are you talking like this? Look, no, don't say something like that, you know? It, you're meant to be here with me. Yeah, but how do you know that? Well, you're here, aren't you? Yeah, but that accident happened out of the blue. I mean, it, it could happen tomorrow, next week, next month. I mean, then what would you do? Why are you talking like this? Ali, what would you do? Do you know the odds of you getting into another accident? No. Tell me. Okay, well, I don't know either, but they're not likely. Okay, let's just say that we get married and everything's wonderful, and then one morning I don't wake would up. Would you stop? It's not funny. I mean, what is a 21-year-old widow going to do with the rest of her life? And nothing is going to happen to you. And even if it did, I would never break our ceiling. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa. I am not asking you to say that, okay? Do you want to marry me? You know I do. Do you want to marry me? How could you ask me something like well, that? Well, you just asked me. You are the one making up all these ridiculous, horrible scenarios. If I didn't love you, do you... Okay, for the past two years, I've had to listen to so. You're waiting for a missionary. Do you know what I'd say? I'd say, no. I am waiting for the man that I absolutely love and adore. The man I want to spend the rest of my life with. You'd say that? No. But I'd think it. You're not the status quo or the next step or the thing to do. You're the one I love. Summer turned to rain The children stopped playing When you looked at me My innocence Hi, this is Trish. I'm not able to come to the phone right now. Leave a message. And we laughed like an old couple fighting What are you drinking? Um, I'm not thirsty. Is Trish here? And who should I say is asking? Her son. You're Ro? She didn't tell us how cute you are. Is she here? I'll get her. Guess who's here to see you? Please tell me it's not Mr. Polyester with a pinky ring. Not even close. The missionaries. You're kidding. Well, sort of. You're a missionary. Ro. Ro is here? Table nine. He wants to talk to you. I don't want Ro in here. You tell him I said to leave. You want me to kick him out? I didn't say kick him out. I said tell him to leave. I'm busy. I'll call him later. You go tell him. I'll cover for you. Go say hi. You got your work to do. I'll take care of it. You must be real. I'm Scotty. I run this place. And this is on the house. 
I don't drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't... Whatever. <laughs> you guys are darn near perfect, aren't you? <laughs> Can I help you with something? I doubt it. You know, I'm not one for mincing words, so uh, listen up, Bart. She may be your mom, but while she's here, she's my employee. And while you're here, you're either paying customer or you're not here. So, uh, pony up, big boy. Eat, drink, or be gone. You make sure you buy something. You want another soda? Did you tell her I wanted to apologize? Mm -hmm. And that I'm not leaving until she talks to me. She's been pretty busy. Listen up. Time to go. I'm waiting for my mom. Well, you got a long wait. She left about an hour ago. What's up, bro? This is great. We're just getting ready for practice. Come here! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hey, Cream, this is Ro. Hey, nice to meet you. This is like my best friend in the whole world. We've been buds forever. Hey, man, do you have a minute? Yeah, why? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why would you say that? I don't know. I thought you were going to say the wedding's off or something. <laughs> he remembered. Of course I remembered. You know, I was just thinking about where I need to go to get the tux. What style I need to get or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Allie's taking care of all that. Oh, okay. I, I can give her a call then. No, no, no. I'll, I'll find out and then I'll call you. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got a surprise for you. Take a seat. I know this might seem kind of weird or whatever. I don't know. But I wrote a song for you, for you and Allie, for the wedding. If you like it, maybe we can uh, play it before you at the wedding. If not, it's... Cool, whatever. Okay. Once in my life I feel true love And I know it's real but I'll be strong To take the punches as they come Now that the day is here, time to
You're gonna have to wait to hear the rest of it. I like it, man. A lot. What temple have you decided on? Salt Lake. Yeah, that's where uh, Ali's parents were married. What about you? We were actually married in Phoenix. After we joined the church, we were sealed in the St. George Temple. So, um, <clears throat> how was the whole marriage experience? I mean, is it everything it's cracked up to be? Marriage is a wonderful thing. I mean, I don't, I don't mean marriage in general. Um, you mean raising kids? Not really. I mean, um, S-E-X? Are you afraid of getting a vernacular disease, Elder? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a joke. Um, you can say the word sex, you just can't do it, at least not until you get married. And to answer your question, yes, it is everything it's cracked up to be. Getting a little nervous? There are just so many things in this life that I want to experience. Then you will. You're gone. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, but how do you know? I mean, that's just it, right? I mean, people die every day. It's not easy being the only survivor of a tragic accident. Don't let that bother you. You survived. You have to know that your Heavenly Father has something in store for you. That's what he said, but apparently not for this life. What? Huh? Do you know about anybody in the ward who could help me with my dad's temple work? Well, I think that's about it. Uh, I've got his location and date of birth. And when I get the exact date of his passing, I'll just give you a call. Excellent. me. How was the shower? It was so much fun. I got some really cute things for the house. Have you eaten yet? This is really good. <laughs> Sweetheart, it came from a box. It's the only thing you had here besides cereal. No. This is really good. <laughs> okay. You've been gone too long. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. But first, I have a surprise. Matt, I wasn't going to say anything, but I just can't keep this a secret any longer. My parents bought us a honeymoon to Cancun. <laughs> Cancun? Wow, I thought you'd be a little more excited about Cancun. No, no, I am. That's great. <laughs> well, we must have said something. I mean, they could have just guessed. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. It's just everything. I don't, I don't. Coming home and the accident and the hospital and. <laughs> The wedding and my mom and... What about your mom? I think it's just my mom being my mom. It's just the wedding. I mean, you've done all this work and I haven't even helped you oh, at all. Shut up. You know I'm having the time of my life. And besides, I told you from the start. I'm going to take care of everything and all you need to do is show up. Let's go dancing. Dancing? Yeah, there's a dance tonight on campus. I don't really feel up to it. Oh, come on. You can't be tired. You slept all afternoon. 
Okay. <laughs> but only on one condition. Which is? I get a private lesson first. <sighs> Six and a half hours. Great, I'll go grab my suit. Ali, I'm serious. You are serious. <laughs> there is no way I'm eloping to Vegas. Why not? Oh, come on, Ro, get real. That is wrong on like so many levels. Like what? Like my parents have spent thousands of dollars, all the arrangements, the invitations. Everything I've been working for. Okay, so outside of paying your parents back, everything else is superficial. Who uh, cares? We do. Are you forgetting we've spent our whole lives dreaming of being married in the temple? You can still do that. People get civil marriages all the time and then get sealed in the temple later. What did you say? People get civil marriages all the time. Even Bishop Gates did. No, 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 before that. What? You said you can still do that. Not we can still do that. Oh, come on, Allie. No, I've got to go. Hi, this is Trish. I'm not able to come to the phone right now. Leave a message. Bro, I totally messed up. What's up, man? Come in. I got to thinking about the wedding. Look, I know Allie doesn't like me. Yeah, you and me both. Whatever. I thought you and Allie might feel better knowing that I'm going to cover up my tattoo and remove my piercings for the wedding. What made you think of that? You know, it's an honor to be the best man at a wedding. That and my mom threatened to kill me if I ruined your wedding pictures. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have to worry about it, dude. What do you mean? I can't marry Allie, man. I mean, I can, but... I just don't think it's the right thing for her. What are you talking about? You two are perfect for each other. No, I know, but there's just a lot of things. Ah, you're just getting nervous. We should go down to the river. The river? Yeah, hang out a little bit. You gonna eat these? So you're Trisha's kid, right? Yeah. Good looking woman. My buddies and I were wondering, uh, why do you always have to cram your religion down everybody's throat? Who said anything about religion, man? Why do you think she's hiding from me? Let us buy you a beer. I don't drink. This ain't drinking, it's worship. Hey, we're three of the most religious guys you're ever gonna meet. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Saturdays and Sundays. Occasionally Tuesdays and Thursdays. Why don't you just leave it alone? Why don't you just mind your own business? Because I'm making it my business. 
How would you like it if we crammed our religion down your throat? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Drink that. Come on. Hey. Hey, we're just pulling. No, out. out of here. You okay, Ro? Hey, it's just me. Call me when you get in. Bye. It's me again. It's nine o'clock. Look, we need to talk. I'm so sorry about the other night. I've just been so busy with work and the wedding. I haven't even thought about what you've been going through. I hope you don't feel pressured. I don't. I've got a really good feeling that everything's going to be fine. Hey, it's past 11. I'm getting worried. Please call me. I don't care how late it is when you get home. I just, I just want to know you're all right. Aren't you going to play the last two? What are you doing? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I know what time it is. I was worried about you. Were you out with Corbin? Corbin? It all makes sense. Just answer me this. Your wanting to elope wouldn't have anything to do with you not being worthy to take me to the temple, would it? Oh, uh, you smell the beer. And the cigarettes. No, Allie, there were these guys at the bar, and I... You've been to a bar? Listen, That's I can explain. Uh, I can explain. No, you don't need to Allie, explain anything. Wait. Just do me a favor. You be the one to tell my parents why the wedding is off. Oh, you think that that's what this is? That you you're wrong. Yo, what's up, dude? It's over, man. Uh, what are you talking about? What, what's over? What, you broke it off? She did. Whoa, she stole your idea. What idea? To break it off. No, 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 no. She thinks I'm a drunk. No way. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was there when I got home from the bar. She could smell the beer and cigarettes. I mean, I, I should never have asked her to elope. You know, now she's going to tell her parents that I'm not worthy to take her to the temple. Whoa, whoa, slow down a second. What's all this about beer and cigarettes? No, wait, forget about that. Tell me about the elope thing first. I need a favor. Dude, I'm not going in a bar. Come on, man. They serve soda. Oh, in that case, let me think about it. Uh, no. You've never been in a bar? No, have you? Well, just this one. Okay, then what do you need me for? 
backup. What? We're singing? In case there's a fight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do not fight. You've never been in a fight. A long time ago. Well, okay then. It was my little sister. She kicked the crap out of me. Allie, it's me. Uh, please pick up if you're there. Listen, I know you're really disappointed in me, but it is not what you think, okay? I promise you you'll know when it's time to know. Please call me. You're getting to be quite the regular. The usual? Yeah. You two together? Yep. An old missionary companion? <laughs> no. Well, are you going to introduce me? I'm Corbin. I'm Dee Dee. What can I get you to drink? What do you have in a diet soda on tap? You mean a fountain drink? Yeah. Diet Coke. Straight up on the rocks. I'll be right back. <laughs> Straight up on the rocks. What? We're in a bar. <laughs> Guess who's back? You can't avoid him forever. It's like this is a toddler. Like what? Relentless. He brought a friend with him. The guy with the weird head? That's a tattoo. His name's Corbin. He's a total cutie. That's Corbin? So are you going to tell me why I'm sitting in a bar? You're about to find out. Who are they? Guys I had a little run-in with the other night. I like your tat. Well, thanks. I've been thinking about getting one. How would you want to get a tattoo? What do you mean? You're beautiful. By the way, Trish told me to tell you hi and not to leave until she got a hug. Trish? Trish who? Your mom, Trish? Just tell me you're not going to tell anybody about all this. What do you mean? What are you talking about? My mom, hanging out in a bar, everything. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Just tell me you're not going to say anything, okay? Okay. Look, I know you want to help your mom, but, you know, maybe you're just being a little... Maybe you're just being a little pushy. What do you know about it? Just what she told me. Yeah, well, that's just the problem, isn't it? Did you ever hear the saying, you don't know what you don't know? Well, she doesn't know what she doesn't know. How do you help somebody who doesn't know what they need without being a little pushy? You tell me. Have you ever heard the saying that when the student is ready, the teacher will come? Yeah, well, this teacher might not be around for long. How did your parents take it? <laughs> yeah, right. What did Ro say? <sighs> you never called him back? Trust me, if he wasn't happy with my decision, he would have camped outside my door rather than leaving me these nonsensical messages where he talks a lot but says nothing. Carrie, I just need to get away. My parents are expecting me anyways. Besides, I keep my commitments. Something. No, I'm not drinking that. 
See your buddies over there? I better meet you a hundred bucks that I can get you to drink this. Well, you just lost 300 bucks. I don't think so. Smell it. Apple juice? Sparkling cider. Give your buddies over there a toast for me. Cider. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Dee Dee. Is she ever gonna talk to me? She will tonight. She told you that? How do you know? Because I told her about your breakup with Allie. Who told you? Corbin. time you ate that huge bowl of macaroni and cheese i think it had ham in it or something bacon bits how could i forget <laughs> i threw up all night what made you think of that how long did you wait before you tried another bowl of macaroni i never did just the thought of it makes me want to hurl well, see, the funny thing is, it's not that the macaroni was bad. You just had way too much of it before you were ready for it. Now you're completely soured on it. Okay, I know what you're saying. But you have no idea. And I know who I am, where I came from, why I'm here. I mean, what's so wrong with wanting to share that? Nothing. I mean, you and I both know that you felt something is missing for a long time. Well, what if this is it? So all I have to do is just listen? That's all. No pressure. No pressure. Here. I thought you already left. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to hang around here tonight. You know, Ro and the missionaries are coming over. I know. I was just thinking if it uh, was something you were interested in, maybe I should listen in too. You know, hear what they got to say. Put on a shirt. For you, darling, anything. I'm Trish. Come on in. Mom, this is Sister Wyerton and Sister Carter. 
Sorry about the mess. We're remodeling. <laughs> We've heard a lot about you. I'm sure. What do they do to my house? Scotty. Hell, I'm just funning them a little bit. Relax. Hi, I'm Scott Patterson. I'm Sister Wyerton. Nice to meet you. And I'm Sister... Wait, let's see. You must be Sister Carter. <laughs> yeah, you see? The holy inspiration is already upon me. <laughs> let's get started. Yeah. We know that you've had some experience with the church, but since the topic of our discussion tonight is of a spiritual nature, I was wondering, would it be all right if we opened with a word of prayer? Sure. Well, you see now... um. That's the thing. Uh, I don't believe in prayer. How many of those have you had tonight? I'm sorry, would you like one? We would prefer it if you didn't drink during the discussion. I'm thirsty. Drink water. Row. It's okay, baby. Let the boy speak his mind. If you must know, son, you don't mind if I call you son, do you? I mean, I am practically your dad being shacked up with your mother and all. So I mind, and you're not even close to being my father. Okay, can I see you in the kitchen for a minute, please? Can I answer the boy's question? Thank you. You see, I'm no different than you folks. I drink when I'm thirsty. This just happens to be my beverage of choice. And I'll stop drinking when I'm no longer thirsty. You see, a civilized discussion. In the kitchen, please. Whoa-oh. Looks like Mama ain't happy. And if Mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything. I just don't feel like praying is all. That's my right, man in his own house. You are deliberately screwing this up. I just don't like people coming to my house and telling me what to do. I'm sorry. I don't think we can continue. There's a definite spirit of contention here. Just give me a chance to get him out of the house. I think we should try to reschedule. No, no this is my mom we're talking about, and I do not have time to reschedule. We do. I said no. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? But I've been trying to set this up for weeks, and I'm not going to let this jerk ruin it. Brother McDonald, if you can't get him out of the house, we're not going to continue. Ugh. Scotty, uh, we started off on the wrong foot. I apologize, I was out of line. I guess we just don't know each other well enough yet. We come in the spirit of love. Amen, sister. I was thinking that uh, maybe Scotty and I could go on a walk and talk about some of our differences, maybe start with a clean slate. That sounds like a good idea. You're just trying to get me out of the house. No, I just thought you wouldn't want to sit through this. Oh, you mean to be brainwashed? And you know as long as I'm here, I'm not going to let you brainwash her either? Oh, and I can't think for myself? These people have been in business a long time, sugar. Ever since old Brigham Smith started the Mormon Mafia. Excuse me? You know what I'm talking about. Mafia, brute squad, whatever you call it. Brute squad? Baby, you think these people give up 10% of their income voluntarily? You don't give it up. The brute squad takes it. Please tell me you're not listening to this garbage. Are you calling me a liar? Scotty. I'm saying you're grossly misinformed. Sister, let's you're go. You're telling me Joe Young didn't have himself a personal bodyguard. Joe Young? No. Joseph Smith? Yeah. His name was Al Capone. Okay, Ro. Just go. I'll call you later. I'm really sorry. It was nice to meet you both. What's for dinner? I guess after you and the missionaries left, I ended up getting in a fight. That's when he hit her. I guess she tried to leave and he threatened to hit her again. She told Dee Dee this afternoon what she called in sick. I called you as soon as I found out.
Why didn't she call me? So, what are we waiting for? What's this? The Brute Squad. Is that it? That's it. I'm gonna use the restroom. Thanks for not throwing this back into my face. Choice of men has never been my strong suit. You mean except for Dad? Yeah, except for Dad. Thanks for the help, man. No problem. Good seeing you two together again. I missed that. Hey, you want to hang out for a while and get something to eat? Nah. I got a bunch of band stuff I got to take care of. I'll call you. This special occasion, which is your hair. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I slept that late. I haven't slept that good in ages. All <laughs> right, we got pancakes, maple syrup, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> <sighs> you should just say the blessing. I already did. <laughs> Which reminds me, I was thinking that since you're here, maybe we could start the lessons again. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up, because we need to talk. I want the option of saying no without your being offended or angry with me. Isn't that what life's about? Free will, free to choose your own path. I just don't want you to throw away your life. But it's my life. It's my path to choose for me. You chose your path. <laughs> Ro, what are you doing here? You left a bunch of stuff at the house. I was just thought I'd bring it back. You, you know, actually, now's really not a good time. I was just leaving. So, my mom's taking the lessons now. It's great. I know that's what you really wanted. Look, you can just leave that stuff on the porch. You ready? Jared, this is Ro. Ro, this is Jared. <clears throat> Look, thanks for bringing all that stuff over, but, um... We, we really gotta go.
I tell you something, you promise not to get mad? Is it about Dee Dee? What about Dee Dee? I know you've been calling her, man. Trust me, she's not what you're looking for, all right? Why would you say that? I know things about her that you don't know. You know she's in her second year of college on her way to become a physical therapist? That's great, Corb. You know, I've been to the bar almost every night for the last two weeks, and almost every night she leaves with a different guy. Do you know her real name is Kelsey? Did you hear what I said? I've seen guys offer her money, and she takes it. They call her Dee Dee because it stands for Designated Driver. Is that what she told you? No. Your mom told me. Ask anyone. It's how she earns extra money for school. Hey. hey. What you doing? Just waiting for you to get home. Why? What's up? There's something we need to talk about. Okay. Who's that? That was Sister Mortensen. Um, listen, I'm gonna run, and then when I get back, we'll talk. Is that all right? Sure. Hey, why didn't you tell me Dee Dee was studying physical therapy? I didn't think you cared. Listen, tonight's the night. We need to get a baptismal commitment. There is no lesson tonight. What are you talking about? She canceled. You mean postponed? No, canceled. She said she wasn't interested in finishing the lessons. Who was it that told you your father was killed in Florida? My mom. That's not right. No, yeah, Dade County, Florida, 1984. Ro, your father's alive and living in St. Petersburg. That didn't take long. Could you do me a favor? Sure. 
Tell me how dad died. What? Tell me how dad died. Why? I'm waiting. Bro. You're a liar. Yes, but... But what? Supposed... Did you have me out of wedlock? You even know who my father is? Let me explain. Explain what? More lies? I met your father in a corner market. And I was buying milk and eggs. He was buying a case of beer. And the song came on the radio. And the next thing I knew, he was dancing me around the store. It was silly. It was romantic. It was... Like something out of a movie. He was so handsome. And I was young and stupid. Two months later, we were married. And you were born nine months after that. By the end of the first year, I knew we were in trouble. He couldn't hold down a job. He felt overlooked, underappreciated. It was always somebody else's fault. Pretty soon he started to take his frustrations out on me. And one night he came home so drunk and he beat me so bad. And he I told him I was going to leave him and take you with me. And he said if I ever left, he would hunt me down and he would kill us both. And I believed him. So the first chance I got, I got us on a bus. And I had enough money to get from Dade County, Florida to Utah County, Utah. And we've been here ever since. And that's the truth. What about your trust money? Belonged to her father. Turns out I had a father the whole time. I guess that explains why she never remarried. I wonder what he's like. I thought she told you what he was like. How can I believe anything she says now? I'm never going to know the truth. Remember the other night I wanted to talk to you about something? Started talking about Kelsey, Dee Dee. It's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I read your journal. I didn't mean to, it was just lying open in the bathroom. 
just there. What did you read? I know why you wanted to break off the engagement with Ali. I know everything. What was it like? Dying, I mean. It was like every cell of my body was vibrating at the speed of love. No judgment. Just love. I'd like to know what that feels like. Mrs. Crozier? I am. I'm Roe McDonald. Do you know who I am? It's all so ironic. Martin being killed by a drunk driver. How so? Well, Martin had battled alcoholism for years, but he couldn't find the strength to stop for himself. And I really think that the responsibility of driving a cab helped him stay sober for 23 years. He 
He wanted me to give you a message. Oh. He wanted you to know that you were the love of his life. And that he'll always love you. He said that before he died? No. After. Did you find anything good? Mm, I think so. Listen, um... I owe you an apology for the way I reacted. I didn't mean what I said. I, I know you did what you did for us, and um, I got to thinking about all the sacrifices you've made for us. that I couldn't possibly have a better mother. <sighs> Nothing would make me happier right now than, than you knowing how much I love you. Do you have any idea how good I feel right now? You know, I was thinking, Bishop Gates is an attorney. He could probably help you with a divorce. Yeah? No, maybe you could have a life of your own. That sounds good. I could go back to school. Maybe get my own place. I could get baptized. Get baptized? I could get baptized. What are you talking about? You don't even like the church. I always believed it was true. I just didn't want to get baptized until I told you the truth about your father. It's ringing. Hi, Bishop Gates. This is Roe McDonald. Hey, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I was wondering if you could do something for me. For my mom. I'd ask what's the urgency, but I can already see this is long past due. Congratulations. Thank you.
How do you feel? Relaxed. Energized, if that's possible. <laughs> How about you? Exhausted. <laughs> Get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Hello? Cor? Tonight was awesome, man. Yeah. You okay? I need you to do me a favor. Sure, anything. You come over first thing in the morning before my mom wakes up. I don't want her to be alone when she finds me. This is it? Afraid so. One more thing. Um, you sing that song to me again? Sure, man. For once... In my life, I feel true love. And I know it's real, but are we strong enough to take the punches as they come? Now that the day is here, time to let go of all our fears and we're calling on. Let these souls be unified as one. And I can hardly wait till we finally get away. It's the unknowing destiny. It's who we are. And with every step you take, I'll be with you all the way. No matter how long, I'll hold on. And all of plans we made are left in the hands of fate and I've got a faith God's watching You're right on time. Maybe you just misunderstood. No way, man. It was 60 days. I just don't know if it was from the time of the accident or from the time I got out of the hospital. Now what? Oh, I'm here. Just gonna make the best of it.
okay. Do you know how it happened? It was an aneurysm. She died in her sleep. Is he okay? There's something you need to know. Come on, man. Dude, where are we going? I just want to show you this spot up here. It's a great view. Hi. Hi. Are you here alone? Not anymore. Are you seeing somebody? Actually, I am. We're engaged. Oh. Congratulations. I mean, the only possible way I could agree to marrying him is if he'll agree to elope with me to Las Vegas tonight. What are we talking about here? Us. You want to elope to Vegas with me? <laughs> yeah, you know, I traded in Cancun for Vegas. You know, they have the pyramid with the light that shoots out the top. <laughs> oh, Ali, I don't know. I'm... Okay. <laughs> When I return, I want you there with me, I want you there. Gonna see the time fly. Gonna see the time fly. Now it's all I can't control. Turn the corner. Sunny day. It's a brand new sunny day. It's a brand new sunny day.